This so conference will this. now be recorded. Yeah. So if you look at the dashboard, if you have enabled this, uh, um, you know, uh, APM, which we did yesterday, after generating some time, you this is a basically different application. Yesterday we had a different application chat. Let me show you which I disabled it. Two days if you go for that, you'll have a different application selected. So like this, you'll have a multiple applications here. So this one service, this is called service, okay? And here is another service. So <clears throat> here you get when you are last deployed. So this is, I deployed four hours ago. This one I deleted it because uh, uh, I needed that uh, infrastructure. So. So now here you see the request or uh, this many request which you have per second and here you have 30.4 request per second and here you see left side this is the type type means what kind of service that is whether it's a web service database service cache service function function means it can be lambda so lambda which you can find on the uh, aws serverless and some custom also. Now, if you see that here, this you can see the list of service or service map also. <coughs> now, all the services will be here. Now, each request, I repeat, each request, you will see here, traces, let me show you, traces here. Let's say these are the traces which I got it. So, from last 15 minutes, I did not get it, I stopped the services. So, let's say if you go for four hours, you'll have a Melee stasis. You see here. Um, this is the stasis, and uh, here. Okay. So here, this is the date when that request has happened, which is the service name. What is the resources has been used? Which URL basically? Here it is. A duration method and status so these are the things you'll get it all services all the request so all the request here traces all this you can scroll down and see that now you can filter also by multiple filters are there so if you see that left side filter by status so whether it's a 200 errors or okay uh, errors means uh, some 4x or 5x this is considered as an error and okay so these are the things Environments, prod or test environment, whatever it is, you set through the APM. <clears throat> you can filter the traces by services also. You can filter the traces by the resources also here. So I had hardly few applications which I uh, initiated through these other resources. And type, error type, and here these are the types of post method 200 or what exactly get post. Uh, add, uh, get push, delete, put. These are the method. Status code like 200, 3x, 4x, 5x. You now, so these are the way you can each traces you can do that. Now, if you see that here, uh, here, uh, this part. So here you have a graph which will help you to understand uh, duration which was Apache. So four hours. So how many total requests you received? So here, if you see that, this is the total number of requests. This is for the four hours, last four hours. If you change the window, then again, it will change. And here you see the request for, you know, every minute or something like that. You can, you can customize this one. How many total errors you got it? What is the latency here? This is here less, here less, and stuff like that. And you can visualize using list. This is a list format here. This is the list. Or you can use the time series also. So put it up time series. And see here. You see that all the number of requests as per the time series and all. Okay. So this is also you can do that. Top list means total. What is the top list for the 202? Which you see that. <coughs> Here we got it uh, 202 request from last four hours, which has a which has a you know uh, highest re request timeout or something like a re re response timeout or something like that. So 200 
indexed span from custom retention filter so this is something which you have so you can customize all this thing you can put it in a table format also here you have a table format you can also add uh, more uh, let's say you can add environment so that also you can do that so here okay so this is uh, something you can work with it so come back to the services now here go to four hours go to the services <clears throat> now we need to understand what exactly this is so let's understand some of the options which is on top so here again is a uh, durations now here you have a service summary so this summary here is like a deployment so when you when you add a code in application like a tomcat there you set the deployments so for example if you want to see that how do you do that this i was showing the demo one more demo just before this session so here you can see the deployment version one so here you will have a version one and version two you can have it multiple things how much total errors you got it here slo means service level objective which you can set it up here under the monitoring uh, here and whatever you set it up if it is violation then you will see that for this particular service what is slo set so you will see that here and for this particular service if any incident you want to you want to create one incident or work then you can do that so here how do we create it so click on this here create a new incident or go to some incident configure the incident and stuff like that here you can also add a new latency slo add new availability slo you can add it here so whatever for this particular service you can see here it will go down and which is here now <clears throat> here the moment you read it you'll understand that what exactly this is requests an error okay and this is a average request 365 request per second for this duration is four hours which i set it up now how many total errors you have and hit so you can check this one off and you can also do that so you must be wondering that red is not visible because this is so small you will have somewhere here okay so i just drag it and somewhere see here there's a red here. see a 20 error has come here also there's a red so if you see the graph carefully then you will, it's the smallest percentage that's the region so here request a by version so right now i have declared this i applied deploy this code actually this code so the version 1.0 so this region here you have it so if you deploy multiple version of source code let's say today i deployed one tomorrow two third day three so you can see that which is performing well day one day two day three and also after that your request and errors you can see here and uh, request per second by version you can see here this many total request 1.18 request hits per second at 16.29.00, that's a time. Here, request and errors per second. So these are the easily defined. Now, if you see that here, this part. So this is like enlarging that graph. And this is basically, if you like this graph, uh, this graph. So you can embed in the uh, uh, what is a dashboard or notebook or something like that. And this basically is to declare the incident. So here, if you have, see that, declare the incident here, and you can export to dashboard, notebook, export to incident, and also like that. And you can see the view. Here it is, May, large, large view. You can see that about the same matrix. So whatever the matrix you are seeing, this is the same matrix you can see that. Now here this side you have a latency okay so latency means uh, that typically we present in percentile so here abdex score is default i'll go for the latency latency by version 
latency, historical latency, and uh, it's coming here and latency distributions. So if you see the latency primarily, this you see in the percentile. See P50, P75, P95, this one. So now the question is, what is percentile? Any idea? Arpan, I think Stephen is not there. Oh, percentile basically in P95, it means like 95% of the request. Uh, actually, so when I say P95, that means uh, I want to tell you what is a P95. So P95 means 95% of the people are having request response time, which is let's say six minutes, six seconds, if I say. So that means remaining 5% people have a response time more than six seconds. So if I say 99 percentile, which is let's say two seconds, that means 99 percent of the people is getting the response time within a two second. But remaining one percent people are getting the uh, response time more than two seconds. So let me show you one one slide, which will help you to understand, and that is. that is this one so look at this so here simple table to understand okay so let me take a snapshot of that so here total this is the latency in a second and this is the total number of request so what is the total number of request which we have tell me the total number of requests will be sum of all the number of requests Huh. So here total number of requests is 100, correct? So now mm -hmm. I will ask you one question. What is a P99? Tell me. What is a P99? P99. So sum of all the latencies. No. So P99 means, see, this is the 100 request, okay? So mm -hmm. here it says total 50, one second latency for five requests. How response time was two second for five people. Response time was three second for ten people. Response time was four second for forty people. Response time was five second for twenty people. Response time is six second for fifteen people. Response time was seven second for uh, four people. Response time is eight second for one person. So that means overall hundred traffic is come hundred percent just for the easy understanding. And this is also latency, the response time. So if I say P99, that means this one. Okay. And that is seven seconds. Got it? So if I say P95, that means this one. That means six seconds. Are you understanding now? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. So like that. So here, if you see context, put it in this context. So here you have a percentile. So this is the if you are from CBSE, probably you'll understand the percentile concept. So this is the algorithm. So means total number of requests has come. And if I see P50, uh, by the way, this application is not having much difference actually because I'm using very less small applications. So all are almost same here because of application was loading in the milli microseconds. So here you see P99 is 2.01%. P95 is, I'll disable this, 2.01 uh, second. Uh, P90, I'll disable this to same actually. So here you will not say, see the difference, but actually you'll have a differences and all. So P99 means these are the 99% of the people got the response time, which is less than two seconds. P P95 means 95% of the people got the response below than two seconds. Or P90 means 95% uh, 90% of the people got the response time below zero, uh, 2.0 seconds. So this is the this is the way. So now this information will help you to see that okay, what are the user experience for your applications, and uh, uh, at least give you some insight about it. What are the percentage of people are getting impacted? And what is their response time and all stuff like that?
are you understanding yes yes okay so now here you see this abdex score what is abdex score so i will ask you one questions here so tell me what is the range of abdex score what is the range of abdex score oh, i have no idea what is abdex range no forget about that. i'll teach you but what is the range of abdex see minimum is 0 maximum is 1 correct now mm -hmm. so minimum is 0 maximum so that means abdex score is between 0 to 1 hard code this abdex score will be always between 0 to 1 now what is the abdex score for mine so right now it's 0 0.99 now here there is a t option also is there so what is this t what is this what is this one what is this zero this we need to understand are you comfortable so far yes yes okay so now the question is what is abdex score so i'll not complicate abdex score is basically a uh, user satisfaction i mean user means customer satisfaction uh, index okay customer satisfaction index means how how much your customer is satisfied so if it is one highly satisfied if it's zero you know that okay so if it is one highly satisfied if it is zero highly dissatisfied in between zero to one so as if it is closer to one it's good closer to zero is not good so this is a satisfaction index now the question is how do you how do you manipulate this how this how this in uh, uh, abdex score get decided so for that we need to understand little bit of formulas now the formula is where is the abdex score formula mm, here it is okay so now let's try to understand this formula you'll understand the abdex score so here see this end user sender requested to and then it processed this response and you got the response time so can i calculate this as a response time r can i do that yes response time r so this is what it says this response is r represented in r now uh, let me ask you one thing so let's say this application is developed by you and given a scenario i will ask you only right okay this is your application you developed it so what about if a 500 5000 people will hit uh, to your website every minute what will be the response time if 5 uh, lakh people or 10000 so you will say like that right so so here this is the t t means threshold that means this is set by developer or team i'll put it a team so this t means uh, t means this will be decided what exactly the response time would be so here let's say response time is in reality 5 seconds okay but here i said okay my response time uh, the threshold which i am setting up as per my development i feel it should be 10 seconds so this is good no you said that t 10 second response time is 5 seconds but if you say let's say if you, you if you are expecting the response time is 1 second but if you are getting the response time in reality 5 seconds correct so it's the worst condition correct now all of you hello oh yes yes sir yeah so this is the r which is a real one and this is a t which you expect the application to perform now the question is okay so total so the question is who satisfy who which user is satisfied which user is tolerating your application and which user is frustrated so for that if r is less than equal to t that means those traffic is coming under the satisfy bucket if r is greater than the t then those users are coming into the tolerating bucket and those users who's having the r is greater than 4x of t so those people are frustrated okay so these are the three buckets which been created now from your traffic total traffic now the question was what is abdex score so abdex score is nothing but a satisfied request plus tolerating request by total number of requests okay that's a formula and this should come always between the zero to one let's look at this here so here if you see see if you have a 
see here. if you have a total satisfied request is 100 and what was the formula mm. and tolerating request because you have a hundred satisfied request so tolerating you become a zero so what is the update score and one so if you have a satisfied request zero and tolerating also zero that means everyone is frustrated with the application so what is your index update value zero so zero means worse one is best and that is what so now with that context see these options so r will be taken from the apm side uh data dog and t use basically you can search it up this is a t okay and r will be taken from the real one and based on that it will calculate whether it's zero and one this is called customer satisfaction index understood right now yes okay so now here you see that here how many total number of errors you got it in four hours and here when you got it how many errors you got it what was the kind of error you can see through this graph errors by version you want to see here errors per second by version you want to see v1 v so all these things uh, here are errors per second you can see here errors rate by version percentage of error rate so here you can see and error rate so right now error rate is in the last four hours is lesser than 0.1 percent so that's okay okay now here you will have a dependency map now right now i don't have it because if really applications will call it web, then here application then a database so you will have a something like this service map in new relic we call it service map here we call it a dependency map so like that you will have a having mapping and when you hover over there so you'll get to know for that particular service how much requests to per second or latency uh, error rate and all stuff like that here you see the uh, resources uh, by resources you have all these these are the three resources you can see each resource is request as this request per second you can see the deployment so i did the deployment uh, v1 right so this is the v1 deployment and for this my deployment this is a request this is the p95 p75 same thing but in a different visualizations here same thing for this particular version only uh, if you see there is tracking here you have here you have uh, these are the infrastructure which is involved in it so that is uh, something which you you have it jvm matrix which we have not enabled actually was oh, enabled yeah so here you have java matrix all the traces for this particular here you again you have it log patterns which is the next topic which we'll discuss about it. so now this is the stuff now here uh let's click on the each traces and here you open up this each traces now here you see the span so let me show you the span so this is the span so this is one span so in real you'll have a something like this two three four and for this particular trace these are the call has happened this is the span time you'll have like this in the real time and this is the flame graph the one which you are saying span list if you want to see the click on the span list so scroll down a little bit here it is so if you have a too much of many multiple internal calls you will see for the each services you'll have a multiple call map also you can see that so this traces is belong to which particular uh, service map and you can see the request latency error exact time spans and all so the more you uh, you know spend time with ui little bit of more meaningful every day you build it actually so this is important so filter flame graph is important and right now because not too many things are coming uh, the reason is this application is very small applications only one class five like that so here you can see the info which on this particular trace which run on which infrastructure what was the matrix of that server cpu ram and all logs have not enabled it processes where this uh, uh, trace has been generated which process running here you can see you can also enable as a code label also that means for this particular trace 
what was the code got executed this is not enabled because it consume lots of cpu and uh, but yeah for learning purpose you can try this is called code code port sports okay so these are the things you can try now go to this stress here this is a continuous profiler continuous profiler we have not enabled so that's the next topic here one topic we'll have for the continuous profiler also so any questions so far guys you have no Yeah, okay. I have to drop in like five minutes. I have to start work. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So now here you see each services in real time. What we'll have here, you'll have hundreds of services. So I have enabled only two services, and this is a summary of it. So look at the summary, and here you can understand this. So request latency P95 error rate and also flag. If you want to download this uh, here, download CSV. You can customize this each column using this. So whichever you want to see or don't want to see, you can customize it here. So more or less, this is a dashboard which you got it. You have to understand each and everything here. And for monitoring purpose, so let's say I have detected some problems here. So what is the problem? So here there's a problem here. There's an error. So I can also declare the incident. Okay. And here, de declare the incident. I see some issues here. Okay, which is a severity five, four, and all stuff like that. And give the some instructions here. The graph is all automatically embedded and declare incident. So I have created one incident. If you refresh it, one incident you can see here. Now go back to the APM services. Uh, four hours go to this and here you see that there is one incident open for this particular services okay so now if i see that here the request hit right now is not running because all services stopped but you can set the slos also for for like that so how do you set slo so you can click here add a new slo and you have to specify that criteria for slo so request timeout and all stuff like that so what is the matrix based or monitoring based so metric based what is this so i'll go for like apache hit a number see apache net net number request purse which is uh, from production service delight check okay so like that you can set a target machines this is a slow you set it up and for this what should be the value for it so three machines is there for the setting up the target here and one more thing which you have to do is uh where is this uh host huh. so target should be 99 and warning when it is 90 percent okay it's at 98 percent war 95 percent target i'm giving and warning i'm giving 99 90 93 okay so this is some warning saying warning should be shown target 93 95 huh so target is my 93 slo and whenever it uh, reaches to 95 then i should see that and then save it so now you go back i set up one slo and done uh, some you can decide the error budget and all stuff like that so here set just notifying rajesh and warnif is consumed uh, what is missing it's 
Here there's a problem. Okay, subject to our message. So create. So now this SLO got created. You can go to the services and four hours and click on this. So see here for your service. Uh, there's no SLA coming. Should come actually. No SLA. Let me check this monitor SLO for my service. So here. <coughs> so this is correct. So query. Yeah, so it's correct for the service. Not sure why it's not coming. So I'll check after some time also sometime refresh issues. So this is the way. You can create a Create a SLOs for it. So now your your job is to understand entire graph for APM and you know help your projects to see that which is the response time. So what is your going to do? So primarily, if you want to start your work, so see that what is the error and which request, which request which is here is taking more time. So you can filter it by duration. So if you see here. Okay, I'm I'm hitting fast actually. Hold on. So here, click on duration. See that you you find out the culprit. Why these resources has taken two seconds? Maybe your expectation was one second or something. So that is a something which you can start with and get going. Are you understanding all of you? All of you. Stephen, 